Hi, it's uh, DJJC13 here with another video. Um, I'm just going to be demonstrating to all you people out there um, how to install a LGA1366 CPU. Um, this also works with LGA775 and LGA1156. They're all pretty much the same socket idea. Um, they might look a little bit different, but it's the same installation. Um, uh, keep in mind, my CPU already has some thermal compound on it. I've already had my system running once, and I am too lazy to clean it off as of right now. So, uh, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to slide my tripod over, zoom in on the socket for all you lovely people. Okay, so basically, first thing you're going to do, there's a lever right here. You push the lever down, pull it out. And lift it up. This will release this small lever here. Next you'll come over here push this tab which will lift it, grab it with your thumb and flip it up. Let my camera focus here. Oh, sorry about that, my camera is going all wonky on me for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. Um, so next thing, they have a protective shield here. Um, it's just an attention notice saying don't bend any of the pins or it will not work, which is quite accurate. So basically to get this out, there's two little pieces here that you grab with your thumbs and you pull straight up, revealing your socket connections. And my camera's going all funky so bear with me so basically that's your socket connections um, in here you've got uh, 1366 pins or whatever Intel would like to call them they are little tiny things that if you touch will break um, so next thing you're gonna do make sure you're doing this in a clean area because if it's not clean and there's any dust in there you could potentially fry your motherboard and or CPU um, so basically, next thing you're going to do, you're going to get your Intel Core i7-1366 processor. And on the back, you've got 1,366 contact pads. So now, with this processor, if you look, on the edges, there are two small notches try to get my camera to focus. I'll take more detailed pictures. And basically those notches line up right there and there with two notches that are inside the socket. So all you do, gently, very gently, because especially with a motherboard like this, your motherboard's worth 300 bucks and your CPU is worth another three. You just line it up very gently and let it go into place and it will just sit there uh, this requires zero insertion force if you have any insertion force you will ruin your motherboard um, that's just the way they've designed it um, don't push or you will ruin your parts so next thing all you do you flip the little door back down just like that and then with your little lever you just pull the le lever back over and this will require some force to push down because it bends all of those little pins and sets your CPU into the socket. So you just push it down and clip it under there. So basically that is how you install a Intel CPU these days. So that is basically the video for right now. Um, Hope you'd enjoy it, and uh, hope I taught you something. Okay, thanks.